When I think of Alabama, I think of two things, football and racing. Tucked away in the northeast corner of the state is a small town called Stevenson, where they've taken dirt track racing to a new level I didn't even know existed. I'll just say this, you want your grass cut in record time, this is the place to be. For Academy Sports and Outdoors, I'm Marty Smith, and this is Traditions. We are here at Stevenson Raceway in Stevenson, Alabama. It's a little dirt track, y'all will see plenty of it later. And I came out here, this is long overdue, we've been trying to do this for a few years now, to meet this man right here, Mark, Marty Smith. Hey, Marty, Mark Bain, nice Great to meet you. Great to meet you, brother. Great to meet you, Appreciate sir. you having us out here. What, what should we expect to see today? These lawnmower guys, they go to travel around all over the country. You got big series that run, and we try to put on a race here about three or four times a year. Get a guy, we got guys from Missouri, we got people from lower Alabama. You don't make no money at this, you know, it's just like anything else, it's just for fun, it's a hobby. The reason I got into it is back in 18, I, I got diagnosed with uh, colon rectal cancer, and I had to quit work, and I run dirt late models. And I still have dirt late models. But I, I had to put that on the back burner because I had to go on a cloth food bag. How are you doing right now? That's it. I got to go back some more surgery yeah. here uh, the 24th of May, but everything's good. You know, good. we're vertical, not horizontal. Good. It's all good. But I got into these lawnmower racing because I, I went to a lawnmower race and I needed a fix. You know, we got a race. <laughs> Everybody's got to have a fix. If that's not a racer comment, I've never heard a racer comment. Yep. So I got interested in these lawnmowers and I've been doing it three years now and it's a blast. What's it cost? If, if somebody wants to come out here and do this, what are they looking at? This, I, I kind of went over extreme. <laughs> uh, I'm one of those types that I want the best of the best sure. to be competitive. Sure. Uh, this mower right here with a mower or the, the motor, just like it says, is probably about eighteen five. Eighteen thousand five hundred dollars. Yes. I love racing culture. I came up in it, covered NASCAR for years and years. I love so much that even though it's competitive and every single person here wants to win, right. they would do anything for you if you need help. Right. Not only in your racing endeavors, but in your personal life. Right, absolutely. People will be, it's, the, the, it's a racing family. Racing family, you're What is that culture? It's just a good feeling, you know, it just makes you feel good that some people are like, hey, you know, these people we race with, but they do actually care for you. I see all these little guys here, 13 years old. 12 years old, out here working on his own machine. Working on his own machine. Working on his own stuff. The thing that I, we don't try to do around here, if you don't work on it, you don't race it. The, these kids is probably more competitive than the adults. Do but, they beat you? Oh yeah, oh yeah, hey, hey. I get out run by them, I shake their hand, I go back to the shop and go, I gotta get faster. I love it. You know, it's just, but that's just the way it is. I love it, man. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful spirit, and I love that you're willing to have us here and share it with us. And we can't wait to see y'all race this evening and see what it's all about. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is uh, uh, you ain't gonna see me race today. You not racing? Uh. Uh. Why? Flash is racing. <laughs> oh, old Marty's gonna be a You got my number on that thing. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Wait a minute. I'm I'm racing that thing. You're racing this. It's gonna be hot lapping here in just a minute. How fast does this go? How fast you want to go? I don't, I don't, well, if I hold it wide open, am, am I gonna be in for one here? These, these, your, your average about 62 on this track. Average? And then some of the bigger tracks are you're over 80 mile an hour average. On that? Yeah, it, it, if, you, if you put the right gear in it, they'll run probably 120, 130 mile an hour. You got a rocket strap to your keister. What do they always say? Gotta throw them over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Now, when your plan is breaking the sound barrier on your John Deere. You gotta sign a release, Marty, that way just. Yep, understood. You gotta take care of a few things first. Marty Smith, I guess. you gonna be racing. Y'all take it easy on him today, okay? <laughs> I paid Scooter to say that because he's right. <laughs> Before I venture too far across this lawn to mow down the competition, I figured I should meet the neighbors. <laughs> what do you love about racing? The driving part. Typical driver. Yeah. What's the most special part about it for you? Him. Him. Just 
he's got it. You know, he's got a lot of talent. It makes you emotional. Why does it make you emotional? Because I love the sport and I love that he loves it. It's probably the most family, family friendly sport there is. And why? Uh, because everybody helps everybody. So you started racing lawnmowers at four? Yes. All right, and you're 12 now? Yes. All right, that's a pretty good career so far. My chariot is ready. And I wonder, as I get fitted in the seat for the first time, if I even look the part. Don't look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Wait till I get out there. <laughs> kill switch? Uh, if it slings you out of there, it kills it. Oh, that's smart. Uh, they will get upside down. I'll let you know that. Okay, that's great to, great to know. That's comforting. I'm gonna get smoked by a 12 year old. I know it, but that's okay. Now, I feel like the competition is sizing me up. But what they don't know is I'm about to drop the hammer. I'm Marty Smith for crying out loud. I've been around racing my whole life. Interviewed the biggest stars the sport's ever seen. From Dale Earnhardt to Richard Petty to Jimmy Johnson. And I made it all of 50 feet before I killed the motor. Uh oh, you pull the kill switch. There we go, that's better. Instantly, I loved the speed and the sliding and the power. Problem was, I couldn't seem to corral any of them. See, Mark's mower isn't your standard snapper. This thing is an alcohol-fueled monster gave me the spins. getting used to as you can see I spun it out three times trying to get in there and find that exact perfect kind of feel between sliding and then getting power back to the straightaway which is everything getting your power down right at the uh, apex of the corner is everything and it took me a minute to figure that out and I'm obviously still figuring it out but I felt a lot more comfortable as I went to get speed going down the straightaway into the corner and find that balance. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some adjustments. I'm gonna tighten it up a little bit because it's still a little slick out there. And I'm gonna tighten it up a little bit for awesome. you. Awesome, yeah, it would help. But, I mean, for the first time ever? Oh yeah, you did good. Not awful. After a few adjustments, it's time to ride for real. So I'm getting all the pointers I can get. In the meantime, I drew the pole position for my race. So I'm starting on the pole. Did you know this? I drew the four chip, which means I'm going to start in front of the field. I'm a little worried. I'm a little nervous about this, because what if I spin it out right there and wreck all of us? So I'm going to be starting on the pole in our heat race. Okay. Should I be nervous? Um. Well, I am nervous. But Mark has the perfect solution. What should I know about starting on the pole? Well, we probably need to let you just start in the rear. <laughs> if it's any way possible. <laughs> because the track's slick, but we, we don't want to get spent out or something or whatever. That's been my, I've, I've been anxious about the possibility that I get down into one, spin that thing around and pile up the whole damn field. Yeah, we don't need that. We don't need that at all. So I'll start shotgun. I'm well, good with that. Well, let you start shotgun, and all you, can, all you can do is go forward then. Okay, that's good. That's a deal. All I'll right. take that deal all day long. Because I'm kind of worried about my lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> well, now the truth comes out. I see. I got two goals. Number one, not get a lap. Number two, not spin out. I would imagine I will get lapped and spin out. Let's see. 
Here we go, my first race ever. You heard the goals. Don't spin out, don't get lapped. Don't make a complete fool of myself. Green flag and we're off. Starting in the back, I was instantly blinded by a red dust cloud as thick as molasses in January. I cannot see a damn thing. I couldn't see anything. That was cause for concern, I gotta admit. So I got out of the gas and out of the group. Some folks fear the 360 spin out during competition, preferring instead to do donuts after a victory. Unfortunately for me, after this performance, spinning out is basically my trademark. However, I did spin out, never lift the throttle, and pass a guy. Mark was mesmerized, said he'd never seen anything like it, not even from Earnhardt himself. Damn, you pulled a damn Earnhardt out there, didn't you? Damn 360. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Didn't even lose a position. Heck yeah. I was, man, it just got to chattering, and I got back in it, and it just. Yeah, at least, like I said, it, when it, it's got a power band, and when it hits it, it I goes. Mean, it, it, it goes. I just wanted to make sure I didn't get lapped, and I finished on the lead lap. Lead lap, third place. Lead lap, third place. Not Did bad for first time out. No, not bad at all. I can't lie, I'm kind of proud. I can I can see why y'all love it so much. It's, 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 a, it's fun. I mean, it's just unbelievable. It's indescribable, really. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this again. I will be back. The lasting takeaway from the lawnmower racing experience for me is the camaraderie. Entire families on hand to turn wrenches and make sandwiches and fellowship together. People helping people with fun competition as a platform. I felt free and easy there, and I meant what I said, I'll be back, as long as Mark lets me gas up his ride. Man, what a blast. I'm grateful.